Hi, Brentek here, where tech is made simple. So last week, I let you know that I am finally enrolled in the Windows 10 Extended Security Updates program. Here we can see to the top right, your PC is enrolled to get Extended Security Updates. And how this all happens is you will see the button or the little prompt to enroll now on your PC beneath the check for updates button and then you'll just click on enroll now follow the prompts on the ESU wizard to enroll your PC check the video out for more info now as I have mentioned previously a lot of Windows 10 users are still not seeing this enroll option on their PCs and if this is the case just to let you know that Microsoft has confirmed to Windows Latest that the button, this prompt, is rolling out slowly. So it's on a phased controlled rollout. And it's also mentioned that if you have an updated Windows installation, you'll automatically start seeing the toggle when it does start rolling out in your region. So no action is required from your end. The only so-called action would be that you just need to check that your Windows 10 is fully patched and up to date. Now, just a quick recap. As a regular consumer, you can pay $30 to buy the ESU package. And the nice thing with the $30 ESU package is you can use it with a local account. You don't need to use it with a Microsoft account. So, so if you prefer to stay using a local account, like I know a lot of you are on Windows 10, you can then buy the ESU package for $30, which I think is a nice option. And if you have a Microsoft account, as I've mentioned previously, you can sync Windows settings to OneDrive. That's the option I had. So it was basically a very quick process when I saw this Enroll Now button. It gave me no other options. It just said you are already backing up your settings to OneDrive. So it made the process quite easy. And then, of course, you can also use 1,000 of your Microsoft Rewards points to activate the ESU. And just on a side note regarding the ESU and the different options, I ran a poll about a month ago asking the question, so which option will you be choosing? And out of the 907 votes, the majority of you, 70%, said you will be using Windows 10 unsupported or install another OS. You won't be going for one of the three options for the ESU. Syncing your settings to OneDrive, using your rewards points, or paying $30. So I thought that was interesting. Most of you are going to just go unsupported or install another operating system. So I thought I'd just make this quick video because um, a little bit more information has become available. So just to keep us all up to date and on the same page regarding that upcoming end of support and the extended security updates program for Windows 10. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.